Hey guys, Jeff Ryan here. Just got done with that little power vac, vacuuming the uh, layout here. I love that thing, I really do. It, it's uh, just the right kind of power you need for like a slot car layout. And that little bee stingy thing in there in the back, that, that's like a, the best blower in the world right there. Absolutely works wonderful. Uh, let's get caught up to speed here. The uh, AC Cobra, yes, I can say it. That came out so good last week that Tam. Uh, with the turquoise uh, and the, uh, what is it, brown interior. I love it. I love it. And look at the luster on it. It just absolutely looks wonderful. I really think that came out good. And it runs real good. Now, the, the, I, I thought about, hey, listen, putting it back up on eBay. I don't know. I don't have a tin of my collection was I thought. You know, I, I know I've got a uh, white one with the blue seats. I've got a uh, white one with the, the, the red interior there. I also have the uh, green one, no factory accents. And yeah, there's the turquoise one, no factory accents. So I'm thinking about sliding in collection. So that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. You gotta make room for it. Now, my wife is very kind. She got me this link in here. I'm still trying to get the damn tape off here. Uh, I, I don't know who she got it from off of eBay, but they tape things really well, really well. So when I get that out of the package, we'll look at it further. All right, I had to use my little screwdriver. My thumbnail wasn't, wasn't doing enough cutting through there. So she got me a tan Lincoln. I have a tan Lincoln. I don't know if this is any better shape than the one I have, but that we're gonna compare the two. It looks like uh, the back bumper could use a little touch up. Front bumper, not too bad. Ah, we got a belly pan. We got a belly pan. Oh my God, we got a belly pan. Look at that. Look at that. Now, th this raises a question, guys. Um, well, before I get into that, anybody want the, the clamshell thing here? I, I don't care for the boxes. I don't keep my slot cars in boxes uh, for the purpose of when I open my cases, I want them ready to go. So if anybody wants that, let me know. But man, uh, the, the belly pan. Here's, here's one take that I've had for years on a belly pan. And I want your comments below to see what you think, because this is on a Lincoln and the, the center of gravity is a little bit higher. I always thought, and I don't really race the, the, the my, my slot cars, I run them, but I don't race them. I thought if you were racing a, um, a, a slot car and you wanted to keep the um, center of gravity lower, lower, I was always thinking with a low profile like a Cheetah. A Cheetah is much shorter than the Lincoln. It's not, it's not as tall, you know, even at the highest point. So I always thought like a belly pan on a car that had low, like a low profile, uh, yeah, 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 look at the Ford, um, the GT Ford. Something like that, I always considered, hey, if you really wanted to stay on the, the track, not using the traction magnets, use a low profile, profile car. Now, here's what I'm thinking. They used it on a higher car. Now, what if we used it on like um, the tow truck or something like that? You know what I mean? It, it's, wow. You know, I, I never thought about putting it on a car with a higher center of gravity. I always thought if you wanted to race the cars, put it on one naturally that had to have a lower center of gravity. I don't know, man, I, I, I'm appetite over tin cup over that. I did not know I was gonna get a belly pan. I didn't know I was gonna get a slot car either. Kind of hoping, but didn't know. Let's see if it runs, let's see if it works, see what we get. Let's just see what we get, guys. It runs, oh my God, it runs. Not bad. Not bad, but I tell you what, let's take it to the transform. It sounds a little dry. Let's just check. Yeah, you hear it? You hear it? Yeah, that it runs, runs good. It just sounds like it could, I don't know if it needs good cleaning, um, the chassis I'm talking about, but we're gonna do that in not a bad shine on there. Really not a bad shine. Let me do this, let me get my uh, tan Lincoln and we will compare the two here in just a second. And when it's uh, when I'm done with the project, then I'm gonna uh, say, hey, which one should I keep? Which one should I keep? Now, what's interesting, straight away, let me see if I can get this on the white background. You see what happened there? Can you guys tell? One of the right's a little bit lighter. Am I wrong? One of the right's, they're both tan, but look at that. Look at that. The one on the right, the one that's been in my collection, a little bit lighter. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Man, I'm excited about that belly pan. I might try it on the tow truck and stuff like that just to see how it does. That is really neat. And it, they've got the uh, flathead screws there. That's something else. Absolutely wonderful. Very good. 
All right, well, the first thing you gotta do is I gotta get the uh, body off the chassis there. It should only take a second. And then I, I kinda wanna get the body cleaned up. I'll take that to the sink. Then we're gonna go investigate uh, the chassis, see if we can get that cleaned up, oiled up. Well, I tell you what, look at that long ass screw there they got in the back there. You know what? They had to find something to fit. And a tiny, tiny, tiny little screw in the front there. I, I, I'm amazed that that went through the chassis, through the guide pin, through the uh, uh, belly pan, and got any threads on the uh, screw post there. So what I want to do next, I'm going to take this to the uh, sink, see if we can get it looking a little bit better. It isn't grody, grimy, but you can tell it's probably never been, never, never been clean. All right, let's get it washed up. All right, guys, I'm, I'm at the sink, and you've heard my caution as far as if you're going to be washing a slot car or something like that, always have the uh, screen catcher thing there in your, your drain. And this is a good uh, example of why. Let me put this down here for a second. Coming into the kitchen here, I'm trying to get it uh, to where I can do it. The back bumper, it's it's kind of loose. It's kind of loose. So imagine getting this under the water and not having a screen catcher, and now the back bumper's down the drain not a fun game to play so make sure that you have a, a little screen catcher there in your uh, sink it is still dripping wet i've got it all um uh, cleaned up real good there's one little spot on the roof there i'm going to see if i can get that off you see that little spot there i didn't see it when i was washing I, I did just a bit ago before i started the video let me see if i can get that off very good got it just a little thumbnail action all right i'm going to take this back out to the uh, garage here and get it all uh, dried off all right, good. I got it dried off real good, but um, legally, I'm going to see if I can get it there. You see the back bumper there? There's a little bit of daylight in between the bottom of the back or the top of the back bumper and the uh, the body there. So I'm going to have to address that. And it, yeah, look at that. It even looks a little cockeyed. So that's the way it's sitting. I'm going to have to re-glue that. Um, I, I don't want that bugger falling off. All right, I just used a little bit of the uh, Scotch vacuum strength adhesive there. I got uh, just a little bit on a toothpick, and I then I stuck it right under there where I needed it to, and I'm just going to let it dry for a bit. Okay, you know, that back bumper has had plenty of time to dry. It's on there real good. <clears throat> you know, what it, before I get in the chassis, I just want to touch up the uh, front and back bumper. And just as far as a touch up, I'm going to use the uh, Molotov Chrome pens that I have. I like those for touching it up. Uh, the spray chrome uh, that I got from Ravel, if I was redoing these completely, I would use that. But for the touch up, I'm gonna go ahead and use the model towels, see how they come out. So let me go ahead and shake those up, get those ready to go. All right, just been shaking the heck out of it. I got one of the model towel pens ready to go. And what you do is you just prime it a little bit. You get some on there. When it's uh, the way you want it, you just gently go over wherever the chrome's missing. Should match it up real good. I don't want to pick it up or touch it right now. I just set it down. I got the front and back bumper uh, touched up real good. So let me just go ahead and leave it till it dries. All right, now while that body is drying, or the body, while the uh, bumpers are drying on the body over there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take apart the chassis and, and see what we get here. I mean, it runs. We know that. Fantastic. Fantastic. What do we got? Long wheel base? Yeah, long wheel base. Good. And the one thing I always look for is uh, the bottom of the uh, com plate there and they oiled the heck out of it. Look at all the carbon and the oil down there. We'll get that cleaned up. We'll get that cleaned up. And the brushes, not too bad. You can tell they've been worn. They've been worn. Go ahead and get them out of there. Yep, that's fine. Okay, I like to uh, take it apart a little bit further. I'll get the axles off and everything. And as far as the copper there, I don't think I need to put it in the brass, so it really doesn't look like it has any vertigrease on it whatsoever. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the uh, Dremel, the wire brush, and we'll get this thing cleaned up. Got my Dremel wire brush ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, clean the shoes, going to clean the bottom of the uh, chassis there, the bottom of the com plate, probably the gears as well, all with the wire brush. Shouldn't take just but a couple minutes. All right, just got done uh, with the uh, wire Dremel. Look at, look at how that, the copper came out. Real good, and I got the bottom of the column plate uh, done as well. I'm gonna start oiling this stuff up and putting it back together. Completely forgot about the brushes, guys. <laughs> Completely forgot about the brushes. As far as the flat brushes go, that's how I clean them right there. That's how I clean them. And you can see like the oil and the carbon just comes off. And just for fun, I roll them around with my fingers. Yeah, your fingers get a little bit of it on it too, but big deal. Um, look at that. Just, Real easy to clean, other side, real easy to clean, all around. That's it, those brushes are done. I was just oiling the top plate, and you guys probably noticed before I did, 
got a uh, Christmas tree uh, arm on there, so that's pretty cool. I always like seeing those, you know what? Just put the uh, springs in the shoes on. One thing as far as spring tension for the shoes there, you see how that sits up a little bit and we don't have the uh, uh, gear plate on, we don't have the magnets in or the, uh, the uh, brush or anything. So it should, it should come up a little bit. If it doesn't, at this point, you might need to refresh the springs just a little bit. Okay, got it oiled up, got it back together. I do like to put on the transformer. Let me go ahead and get the transformer. On. It was on. <laughs> it was on, did not. Here we go. Oh, remember how dry it sounded at the beginning of the video? You know what? Let's go now. Yeah, I don't want to say that's whisper quiet, but that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Very, very good. Okay, so next, it is time to put it on the chassis on the body. And I'm gonna use a belly paint again, just for fun. I know the uh, paint on the bumpers, front and back bumpers had, had plenty of time to dry. So let me get this thing back together, get it on the track. Got the belly paint on, what do you think guys? Track time? I mean, it's track time. You know the transfer was on, had it on a second ago. Oh, looks good. And it's like whisper quiet going around the track, you know? That's oiled properly. That's oiled properly. Fantastic. That is smooth too, very smooth, very smooth. Okay, very good. Where's my other one? Here it is. Again, mine is a little, though they're, they're both mine, but the one I have in my collection, um, man, I don't know. I don't know. I, okay, now here's a, here, I just saw it. I just saw it. I just saw it. And if you've seen the video, the, the one on the right, I refurbished, uh, I don't know, maybe a year, year and a half ago, something like that. But you see the front grill? After I glued the bumper in, I realized I didn't paint the front grill. I didn't do it. I didn't paint the front grill. So, uh, I mean, you see the difference right there? Wow. All right. So um, now I know which one I'm keeping. <laughs> now I know which one I'm keeping. And while I'm thinking about it, as far as another project, um, Ryan Tideman, he, he got one of the Batmobiles from me and with the lighting kit and all that stuff. And he took some great pictures throughout the project. Let me go ahead and do this. I'm gonna to go to the computer and show you what he sent me. He did a fantastic job. Okay, good, here we go. Uh, let's jump into the pictures here. Ron was very uh, kind. He sent me some um, pictures throughout the project, you know, kind of like a progress report. First one, it looks like the Batmobile, he's got it taped up to where he's gonna be doing the red stripe on the side of the Batmobile. I, when I first started, that's, a, that's exactly what I did. And I literally had to use um, a number of pieces of tape around the wheel wells. It looks like he used just a couple and cut the tape to fit. I get it. I wouldn't have thought of that. But what I, what I do now is I literally put like a red paint, if, if I was going to do one now, I hadn't done one for a while, but I, I, was, I would put a red, uh, like one of the tester paint sticks, just on the edge of it, and I freehand it. I don't need tape. I've done so many of them, I don't need tape. And the same thing with the wings, you just put that uh, red tester paint stick on there and you, you can do the wings on the back and the, uh, the front around the um, uh, headlights and the taillights. It's just super simple. Okay, what else, what else? Okay, now this is great, I love this. He's got the, uh, he's got the drill bit in there for the uh, taillight, or the taillight, the turbo, the turbo, red turbo light. So he's literally getting that done first. Very good. All right, let me go to his next set of pictures. Okay, good. Here, he's showing that he's got the uh, front painted up. He's got the red around the uh, the headlights and everything in the grill. He's got the silver in. Very good. I like that. And this one, you can see he's working on getting the turbo light out the back there. He's got the wiring for it and everything. Plus, he's got the red and silver accents. Very, very, very good. But you do have to work in, you know, hey, that bulb's got to fit. So if you've got to get a bigger drill, bigger drill, and you have to hit the center of the turbo. You have to hit the center of it. Why? Because I know if you don't, it's going to mess it up. I've messed them up. Got the red stripe on there. Look at that. Isn't that something? Well done, sir. Yeah. Wow, that's good. I love that. That is sharp. Okay, good. Here's a top view. The beacon's done. The uh, stripes on the fins are done in the back there. Uh, I don't know what it is behind back. Batman Robin vents, I guess. The turbo uh, launcher. He's got Batman and Robin painted up. That's not easy to do, guys. It is not easy to do. It's fun, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Okay, looks like the other side, and he's, he's still got the wiring coming out there for the back, and he's got the uh, side stripe on there. Okay, good. I think he's got some more pictures for us. Let me go back. 
Okay, good. Yeah, look, look at that. He's got the stripes on. Batman Robin are painted up. He's got the beacon fronts painted up. He's got uh, the uh, rocket launchers looking good. I don't see Batman and Robin's head yet. I don't see that yet. But he's just, he's moving along with it. Moving along with it. And here, he's demonstrating how um, the, the light works. He's got the light going on there. And when I saw this, I didn't realize that um, Ryan sent me some pictures before. I love the um, one color track and then the black track. I said, hey, please send me more pictures of uh, his track. And he did. And he, he had said, Jeff, I thought I sent this to you before. And as soon as I saw him, I recalled it. He's got some long straightaways. Some really, it's a really nice layout. I love it. If you want to open the cars up, he's got the track to do that on. All right. I think there is another email just sent. Yeah, here we go. He's got the bat on the side. You can tell Batman Robert painted up. He's got the windshield there. I mean, looking good. I mean, looking absolutely wonderful. And I know when I did, um, the, the bats on the side there, they were decals. They were decals I had gotten off of eBay, and they'd come in, and they're on, they're on a clear background. And Ryan and I talked. I said, hey, what I would do with them, and I was just suggesting, I, I said, while they're still on the, uh, the paper that they're made on, I would cut them out with like an exacto knife and that was probably not bad but challenging it's probably challenging to do that but they're on there he's got them on there very good and again he's got the turbo on but it doesn't look like he's gonna back no he doesn't have any back wheels on the uh on the uh, uh batmobile there yet but he's got the turbo light coming out the back doesn't it look like a little flame coming out wonderful Ron, you did good sir and there you go the light is sticking out you can tell Batman and Robin are both painted up. You can see their heads there. Again, great job. Bat on the side, stripes going the down. Um, you know, the fin, absolutely wonderful. There you go. There you go. You can see Batman and Robin's heads there. He's got the uh, mask on uh, Robin. He's got the cowl on Batman. Again, guys, that's not easy to do. It's fun, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Ron, great job. I am so glad you had a shot at doing this. I hope you enjoy it. Again, to me, what makes the Batmobile, I've said it many, many times, is when you see that red turbo light coming out the back and the, the Batmobile is going around the track, it is that, it just makes it, it makes it. It's like, that's that's what you want. That's what you want. I'm so glad you wanted to take a shot at that. All right, just get back in out in the shop. This is Florida, guys. It was raining just a few minutes ago. It's sunny weather right now. He got in the hand at the Ryan uh, Tiedemann. He did an excellent job on the Batmobile. He really did. It's a fun project. It's one of the projects you just have to take your time with. Do not rush it, and it's going to come out good. Uh, a couple of things, guys. I've got the Batmobile from last um, week. We did the restoration on it. If somebody wants it with a lighting kit, let me know. It's on the house. And the, uh, what is it, a coffin shell, a clam shell, whatever you call it. Um, I, I don't want the box. A lot of guys have the um, like to keep the boxes. And I think that's original foam mincer. It, lo it looks like it. It looks like it. So if anybody wants uh, either the Batmobile or the clamshell box, let me know. Uh, my book, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, please uh, go ahead. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. It's there. Well, I like the way that came out. Isn't that sweet? And that is, it's going to slide into my collection. We restored it uh, last week and it just came out so good. I'm right into the collection. All right, uh, let me think about this. Uh, I, I said it earlier, but the Lincoln that doesn't have the silver accents on the grill, I might be giving that away. Keep that in mind. I'm thinking about that. Um, stay tuned next week. Stay tuned next week. All right, guys, let me know if you need. Oh, well, one thing, one thing, one thing. It, 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 just off the top of my mind, uh, I had the box here sitting here at the end, uh, beginning of the video. It's gone. The uh, Doom buggy that I was giving away uh, last week, and this is, I. Uh, took my windshield there. I got a little coming. But um, Mike Yerke, Rose's hand first. He's the guy that can paint it up, uh, get it looking good, and make it look factory fresh. I've seen his work. He does a, a great job of it. And I can't wait till he starts a project and gives me some uh, updated pictures. All right, guys, I had a blast this weekend. Let me know if you need anything. See ya.